Hey you guys, Jessie here from Urban Legends Antiques and we are on Vlogmas day four. It's really cold outside so I have my little furry blanket. It's like 40 degrees, which I am not used to. Um, so I'm gonna stay bold on all the covers while I talk to you guys. So we went to Winterfest um, in downtown Lake Elsinore and I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. It was a lot of fun. So we wanted to go for the tree lighting ceremony and decided to check out the parade first. So I was watching this gingerbread house go down the street and then I noticed these little kids in light up cars that were kind of like following along behind and reminding me of Hansel and Gretel. And then right behind were these beautiful folklorico dancers. I had done this for one semester in high school to get better grades. I was failing my Spanish class so they offered extra credit if we took folklorico and I signed up. The winner of the Grand Marshall Award at Winterfest was this bunch of kids. They had built a robot, I guess in their STEM class, and they were so excited. Look at them, that one kid is like waving so fast. It was really cool. I am a born and bred band nerd. I was in band from like third grade all the way up through college, so you're gonna see a lot of band footage. So Grinch was a huge hit and he was one of my favorites. I was having so much fun just seeing all the lights. It was like the Disneyland electrical parade, but in downtown Lake Elsinore. And there were so many people. I loved it. So in the Inland Empire, when you see the fire trucks in the parade, that means that Santa Claus is on his way. And in San Bernardino, they will actually drive the fire trucks up and down residential streets with Santa and he'll be throwing out candy. So as soon as I saw the fire trucks, I knew it's time for Santa. So we had heard that there were some really good food booths. We had seen people with um, some tamales, of course tamales, and then I saw someone with, um, it looked like tostones with pink beans, which I love. And then Chuck saw like a hot dog vendor. And then we were, I think there was like nachos, but it was like a different kind of nachos than like regular, instead of like carne asada meat, I think it was um, shawarma. So they were trying, uh, Chuck and my nephew were trying to find that. And I got distracted with the vendor booths. I was thinking maybe I could be a vendor next year. So I was checking out vendor booths. And then I saw this kid who was wearing like a Christmas suit. And it looked like the one I had been trying to convince my sister to uh, buy when we were in Laughlin. So I was just following and filming him for a second so that I could compare if they were the same suit or not. Okay, here's the Christmas suit I was filming. I followed him for this long until I started to feel weird. And then here's my sister. It wasn't the same suit, but it was really close. So 
there's still no food boost, but I will admit I'm easily distracted by all the other stuff that was going on there. So it's not like I was looking that hard. Okay, so we finally found the food booths. The lines were super, super long on some of them, and some of them they had sold out. So we abandoned the idea and we were heading across the street to eat when we found snow. This is very typical of Southern California. They have a fake snow machine across the street making fake snow. And then the ice cream parlor, the line is around the street. Totally normal in California. inside a restaurant having dinner and we missed the tree lighting ceremony <laughs> which is what we had gone down there for but the tree is still beautiful the lake elsinore museum had also opened their doors during winterfest so we went inside to check it out shopper in the While we were at the museum, we met the president of the Historical Society for Lake Elsinore and we gave her the address of her house and she like ran into some back office and printed up uh, a registry of our house and it was showing where our home had been listed on a um, historical registry back in the 80s. And she had photos of it and showed it to us and the house pretty much looked the same. I didn't film her, she didn't want me to film her, but um, it was really cool. It was interesting. Living in a historical home is fascinating. And um, we wanna keep the integrity of the house like as intact as possible. So the, um, the president of the historical society was very happy to hear that. Um, all right, well, that's all for us. Uh, I don't know where Chuck is. We're gonna have dinner and head on to bed. I'm Jesse from Urban Legends Antiques and thanks for coming along for the ride. Bye, see you guys tomorrow.